The settlement will give VW owners a choice, sell their diesels back to Volkswagen or have their cars repaired to meet emission standards. The fix hasn't been worked out yet, but the repairs will likely come with a drawback, a drop in mileage or performance. Consumers will also be paid between $5,100 and $10,000. They can either take the buyback or they can take the fix. In either case, they get, they get the money. This is really unprecedented for a settlement of a case like this. For its deceptive marketing practices, uh, Volkswagen is also going to pay to the states an additional $1,100 per car, or over half a billion dollars nationwide. So how are VW owners reacting to the settlement? Last year, we met Peter Hayes owner of a 2011 Volkswagen Sportswagen TDI. He was angry and looking for answers. I'm not looking for, for blood on the floor or whatever, but um, I would like to, you know, be somehow compensated. Despite the settlement, he's still angry. He would prefer to keep his VW, but doesn't want to sacrifice performance or mileage, so he'll likely take the buyback. We just paid off the car, so it's no, we're not going to have any you know, payments on it for, I was planning on not having to have a car payment for a while. Um, and now that this has happened, uh, they're kind of forcing us to buy a new car, which I'm, you know, not, a, not too thrilled about. I he hopes the settlement will hurt VW's bottom line enough to ensure the car maker will never do anything like this again. As long as VW actually follows through on the settlement and, and everything, it sounds like it's going to be a, it's going to be a pretty severe punishment. And you want them to feel some pain? Absolutely. VW hasn't formally made offers to car owners yet, and Hayes hasn't been contacted regarding the settlement. What do you think the chances are you would buy another Volkswagen? I am more forgiving. My wife is not, and um, so it's not going to happen. Volkswagen and owners like Peter Hayes do agree on one thing. They both want to put this emission scandal in the rearview mirror. Jim Spellman, CCTV, Washington.